honeybees. Today is Friday Favorites again, and I just finished filming this tutorial. Um, so it's a pinup girl tutorial because I'm going to a party, and I figured I would do a kind of, um, what's it called, get ready with me video. So that's what I did for you all, and it's also like an outfit of the night video as well because I showed you my outfit. It's not this. I'm just like wearing a little red tube top at the moment but it's like a red lip a wing liner I'll zoom in real quick so you can see and I will have this posted next week that's what it looks like okay so let's get started with the favorites I have a ton of makeup favorites for you mostly lip products because I went lip product crazy this week and bought a bunch of new lip products um, but let's start with something that's not a lip product this is the Coralista Benefit box blush I know so many YouTube gurus have already spoken of this blush, and I just didn't get on the bandwagon with it yet. Oh my gosh, I have been missing out. And if you don't have this blush, you are probably missing out too. The color is gorgeous. I have it on my cheeks right now. It comes with a little brush. I don't use that though. But the thing that I love even more than the color, look at that color. It's like a peachy pink, and you know I love my peachy pinks. Um, it has a really yummy smell like a sweet rose scent. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I'm gonna put a little bit more on so you guys can see a little bit better. Oh, someone's calling me. So it's just a really pretty peachy pink. I use this blush brush by Sonia Kostik, Kostik, yeah to put it on but I love it I have really been loving benefit products in general lately because you guys know from my last haul not haul yeah haul slash Friday favorites I spoke of the hello flawless benefit powder that I'm obsessed with still obsessed with this week it's seriously becoming my holy grail powder product love it while I was at Ulta I also saw these new benefit plush um, ultra plush lip glosses um, they're by Benefit, and it came in this packaging. It looks exactly like the box for the Coralista. And they're matching lip glosses to their box blushes. So this is the one that matches Coralista. It's a gorgeous coral. Oh, maybe I should show it that way. <laughs> it's just a really pretty coral. Um, I really like it. I have red on right now, so I can't show you. I'll do a little swatch. It's not sticky at all. It feels so amazing on the lips. It's a very natural... Um, looking gloss as well because the color is just a really pretty natural peachy color. I love it. These are $16 a piece. I wanted to buy the whole like range of them after I tried that out for a few days. Love it. Okay, BB creams. I am doing a review again for you guys, a second review on BB creams. Um, I asked Misha BB cream to send me a sample so I could do a review because a few of you had requested that I try this one out. So I have gotten the sample in from them, been trying that out. I'm not going to give away what I think about it yet though. And then I also have the Maybelline dream BB cream dream fresh BB cream 8 in 1 beauty balm I actually have this on right now I don't want to give too much away but I really love this for a drugstore I mean this was $8.99 oh my gosh I can't wait to do the review and tell you guys more about what I think about that but two thumbs up so far okay for my eyes I have really been loving using the Rubenesque paint pot by MAC it's just a really gorgeous gold pink like golden pink so I use that as my base and then I put another MAC eyeshadow on top of it which is um, expensive pink it's right there it's just a gorgeous pink with gold sparkle so they match each other perfectly and so that's what I put all over my lid and then I'll just put a matte brown in the crease like cork by MAC which is this one right here or just like, um, I forget what the one in the Naked palette is called, but there's like a, a nude, like very non-sparkly brown in there as well. I would use that in the crease also. And then just a non-sparkly highlight from my under my brow. That has been my go-to eye look this week. Okay, now on to the ton of more lip products that I purchased this week. Okay, so technically all these are not my favorites, but I just wanted to show you because I'm not going to do a haul on these. Um, so the first one is Rep by Revlon, and it's a super lustrous pearl in Gentlemen Prefer Pink. And I have worn this at least twice this week. I really do like it. 
Um, it's like a blue tone, perfect pink. So there's that. It stays on very well. I mean, I love Revlon lipstick, so can't go wrong with that. Another Revlon one. I've been searching for this one forever, and it's in the color Just Enough Buff. And it's a cream, super lustrous. It's just like the perfect nude. I love this one even more than the other Revlon nude that I'm obsessed with. What is that called? Soft Nude, I think it's called. It's in the square packaging. But this is it right there. It looks so good on my lips. This is my go-to nude at the moment. Then I also went ahead and purchased another one of these Maybelline from the... Um, I want to say the mannequin <laughs> collection, but that's wrong. I can't think of what this collection is, but it's in this kind of packaging. And this is an afternoon tea. And this is just like my go-to kind of color, the um, your lips a bit better kind of color. It's a little bit more mauve than I usually go for, but definitely creamy and very pretty. And then I've already spoken of these. I did a review on these. I'm going to link it right here for you guys if you haven't seen it already. These are the new L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Caress lipsticks. These are pretty sheer. They're like sheer coverage and a kind of a balm. I love them though. I have four colors right now. Um, this one is my favorite color though and it is in Sunset Angora. It's a gorgeous peach color. I have definitely been going for this one a lot this week. And then my second favorite of the collection so far is this one, and it's like a nice vibrant pink, and it's in Blushing Sequin. It actually matches my new gel manicure, and that's what it looks like. It's just like a really pretty pop of pink on your lips, and I've really been going for more of like a pop of color lately. I don't know. It's either a nude or a pop of color for me. And last but not least, I've been looking for this one also. Lisa Lisa D1 mentioned this lip color. Um, she's actually mentioned it in more than one video. And it's number 810 Disco Pink. It's a Maybelline lipstick. It comes in this kind of packaging. Um, it's a color sensational lipstick. It is so, so pretty. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh, if you don't like sparkle or sheen, you're not going to like this. But this is like Barbie lipstick. I love it so much. And it has like a really pretty shine to it. And it, oh my gosh, it has glitter in it, but it's very fine glitter. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so, so pretty on. I'm going to have to film a video with this lipstick on so you guys can see it. Maybe I'll do another like tutorial video and have this in it because you have to see it on my lips. It's awesome. Okay, and I also went to H&M this week, so I just want to quickly show you what I got there. I'm going to show you a picture right on the side here of the dress I finally purchased. I had done like in a vlog video, had um, tried it on the dressing room and didn't buy it, and a lot of you were like, oh my gosh, why didn't you buy that? It looks so good on you. So I ended up buying that. I got this really pretty rose gold bracelet for stacking. This was like six bucks. And then I got this wraparound hot, hot neon pink kind of um, buckled. It buckles right here and wraps and wraps around, but I just don't have it buckled. It's neon pink. Isn't that pretty? And it's real leather because um, it had like a warning label on it, which I think is really nice for people that don't want to purchase anything like that. And I think that's pretty much it, except for one non-makeup and fashion favorite that I want to share with you. I'm obsessed, guys. I've already read the first. If you guys don't know what this is, it's Fifty Shades of Grey, the series. I'm on the second book, Fifty Shades Darker. I'm only that far in right now, but I'm so obsessed. I read this on the plane, on the beach, the first book I read on the beach and the plane, and I kind of was like reading it like, oh, don't look what I'm reading, people, because it is sexy and racy and good. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> so... Yeah, this month's been a little like, whoo, Magic Mike, Fifty Shades of Grey. I need a boyfriend. Just think, I need a boyfriend. I haven't really had many regrets, and I'm really sorry if you look forward to my regrets. But, oh, one more thing. Maroon 5 CD is awesome. If you guys love Maroon 5 and you don't have their CD, which I don't know why you wouldn't because it's been out for like three or four weeks, I got it the day it came out, listened to it on vacation before the concert, and have had it on replay in my car. Like, I listened to the whole CD over and over and over. I adore it. And 
yeah, it's awesome. I think number one, nine, and eleven are my favorite songs. I don't remember the titles, um, but if you check out the CD, those are pretty much my favorites. So I think that's it, guys. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll be seeing you again soon. I'm hoping to post a vlog every Sunday because um, I posted a vlog last Sunday. So I'm going to try to continue to do that for you guys because I know a lot of you really enjoy those, and I've been trying to really keep on top of vlogging more. I did kind of poorly on with that on vacation, so I'm going to try to do that more. See you later.